Jack, uh, give me a read back on that last procedure. Uh, stand by, Ken. Ken, I'm, uh, well, I'm having trouble reading my own writing. I guess I'm a little more tired than I thought. Uh, don't worry, Jack. I'll talk you through it. Okay, uh, find the main bus breakers on panel 11. Yeah, main bus breakers. Got it. Close main bus B. <sighs> now, Ken, there's an awful lot of condensation on this panel. Uh, what's the word on these things shorting out? Uh, we'll just uh, take that one at a time, Jack. It's like trying to drive a toaster through a car wash. Like we're still shallowing up a bit in the reentry corridor. It's almost like they're underway. Now, how can they be underway? We didn't land on the moon. Rocks, that's a firm. Uh, one more thing, Jim. While Jack's working on a power up, we'd like you and Fredo to transfer some ballast over the command module. Uh, say again, Houston, ballast? Uh, that's a firm. Uh, well, you got to get the weight right. We were expecting you to be toting a couple hundred pounds of moon rocks. Right. Now, Jack. Yeah, go ahead, Ken. Okay, now, uh, panel five. Circuit breaker, <laughs> caution and warning. Main B, closed. Main B, closed. The master alarm, off. Okay, Jack, uh, on panel seven, B mag number two, power to warm up. B mag number two, power to warm up. Done. Sequential logic, one and two on. Sequential logic. Two on. CMRCS pressure on. CMRCS pressurization. As her husband prepares to jettison his lunar module lifeboat, Marilyn Lovell waits with her children, her neighbors, and we are told Apollo 11 astronauts Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin. Only the Lovell's eldest son, Jay, is absent as he holds vigil with his classmates at the St. John's Military Academy in Wisconsin. ABC News science editor, Jules Bergman. With a crippled command module and surviving by using the LEM systems, there can be no easy maneuver. And their LEM lifeboat is doing things and working longer than it was ever intended to. It's a race against time until splashdown. Okay, Jack, we're ready to see if the computer will accept a link of the reentry data now. Okay, the IMU is up. We got our eight balls back. Copy that. Okay, Ken, uh, uplink telemetry, command module to accept, right? Yeah, that's a firm. Go ahead and try it. <sighs> uplink completed. Take a look at your hands. How we doing? Let's go. All right. We got her back up, Ken. Boy, I wish you were here to see it. I'll bet you do. <laughs> <laughs> 